Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Shining Pearl the series. I'm Big LZ. And I'm Elsa Parker. In this episode, and I brought up the map earlier, but uh, we're going to uh, Pastura City. So, you ready to get the show on the road? Am I allowed to nag you now? No. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. Free ref! Nobody challenged me on my pronunciation. I'm right, you're wrong. I was, I'm just actually saying it as for a giraffe. It's a soft G. Well, no, like giraffe. Yeah, but here's the thing. You say giraffe for egg. Giraffe. For rig. Giraffe. Giraffe. Oh, listen. Giraffe for rig. Get, 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 No potato. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, I know what she has. Get, 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 get. Something specific in Japanese. I think it's an onomatopoeia. I know what she has. Do I have anything? No. That's going to be hard. You know what she has? Oh, the trainer you're about to battle. I think Pony is going to be in Blast Pad. Are you sure it's a she? It's a psychic. Psychic's going to be he's. I never know this. But I always remember her as a she. They look really similar because the male psychic basically I has always a full remember cut that's her as similar. A I always remember her as a she, that's the thing. I've always remembered her as a girl. There's literally two different sprite arts. I figured that, but how I, they stand when they levitate their Pokeballs one, in the original one, sprite art. She's just one of those ones I'm always remembering. She's always she's just one of those ones I remember. Okay. Yeah. You, don't you ever have one of those moments where you look at a trainer after you're playing the game and you're like, oh, I remember this trainer. They have this on their team. There is, but only because I've either gotten my ass kicked by them or <laughs> or there was something specifically memorable about them. Like, uh, they have a really obnoxious team. <coughs> uh, ironically, I think all the teams I'm remembering are from Cullen. Okay. <laughs> There's the, uh, the lady in the rain with a Milo tick. I think she's an umbrella lady. Okay. Uh, there is a breeder on a very specific route with a very annoying team of six baby Pokemon. Uh, there's, well, I guess this one isn't specific to Hoenn, but there's every fisherman with a team of six pounds of carp. Yeah. Kanto has it, Jojo has it, Hoenn has it, Sinnoh has it. You know if it doesn't, unless it's black two and white two, but I'm not sure about that one. Let's go Pot Racer for this. I want actually want to see how well it can use its Thunderbolt. <laughs> go, little squirrel, go! <clears throat> yeah, fair. I actually like it. Considering you're up against Mistrevis, it's fine. Yeah. Mysterious is kind of get, and kind of known to have be a tad bit bulky. That's because it didn't have an evolution. Yep. Originally. Until, until this well, pre-evolution, it didn't have a pre-evolved. It was just a just a straight up only that Pokemon until this no, generation. A pre-evolution would be like Pichu. Right. An evolution would be like Raichu. So. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking. I'm thinking backwards. Yeah. Yeah. You, I was just like, wait a minute. I'm Mysterious think, doesn't evolve backwards. <laughs> No, I, okay, because I was saying it has bulk, yeah, it's because it didn't have a pre-evolve because it has that bulk, because it was just a straight up, just it's, its own Pokemon, until this generation when it got a uh, evolution. I think that's where I was trying to go with this. Oh, right, right. Um, wait, 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 I remember you as well, I know <coughs> you have water types. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the guy. There is... I'm pretty sure this is the guy with the water types. Scyther. Scyther yep. has um, the stats of like a fully evolved Pokemon because yep. it didn't used to evolve until Scizor happened. Which is one generation later. Yeah. Um, and then I don't know if Mysterious is the same. I don't know if it has uh, bulkier stats because it's got stats similar to yeah, a fully evolved look, Pokemon. You can always look it up and compare Scyther's Oh no, I'm terrible it. at looking at stats. I can't tell the difference between a pre-evolved Pokemon stats versus a fully evolved Pokemon stats. No. I just know that they're all capable of getting to level 100. No, I'm just saying you compare Scyther and Mystery of Sets to one another and see how and see how comparable uh, it is. I, always, I don't ever know where to look for their stats. Let me see. Cerebi. Uh, just go to the bottom of the page. The, the stats are right there. I'm, I'm terrible with stats. This is why I don't metagame. <laughs> hey, 
I don't either, but at least if I'm curious about a certain stat, whether like it's like it's offensive stats or whatever. I'm gonna have I, to take pictures. I'm also oh I need to fake it that. I'm in the middle of a manga. Okay. So Yeah, no, I forewent watching the anime. I'm just like, I'm just gonna go straight to the manga as it seems to have the answers I want. Okay. That's gonna load slowly. Probably Which means work. I'm stuck watching this G uh, Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball, I don't know, whatever commercial ad thing. Well, just don't have it in, in the video. That'd be bad. Yeah, obviously. Okay. Okay, you, I don't remember what you have on your team, so. Remembering Print Club out because it's been a while. This is a nerd. Yep, super nerd. I just don't remember what he has on his team, though. I feel like super nerds. Oh, no, he's a collector. Oh. I keep forgetting that. I brought that up. Hey. <laughs> Good call. Good call, yeah. It was an accident, but it was still good. Yep. Bean. Because you're a fire pony. I has been a solid critic on uh, one of his reviews. He goes, Ghost Pony Rider, Ghost Pony Rider, and, and apparently, apparently, it's like a Ghost Rider, but it's a My Little Pony character. Oh, it's funny as hell. And then, and then, and then he gets interrupted, and he's like, "Hey, I don't know the scientific explanation behind this, but whenever anybody says pony on YouTube, the views go up the roof." <laughs> and he's like, and then the guy's like, "Seriously?" He's like, "Yeah, watch pony," and all of a sudden it goes up like a thousand views. Oh my god! <laughs> so it's funny as heck. Well, anything works. No, I specifically want to know. For BDSP. Look, I mean, I don't think stats between Pokemon <laughs> change during gen between generations. That'd be kind of messed up. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Technically speaking, Kanto, yes. But that's because they split the special stat with special attack and special defense. Otherwise, yeah, I don't think there's... I don't think stats usually change... I don't think stats for a Pokemon change between, like... Any, any generation up from like Johto, like Gold, Silver, and Crystal. I don't, I'm don't. i pretty sure when a Pokemon adds our stats, it's permanent for life. Uh, it makes me feel very bad for Sunkern. I like Sunkern. You're a beauty. I'm guessing you have the grass type. For a second I thought you were calling me a beauty for liking Sunkern. I'm like, what does that have to do with anything? You have the one. Is it Roselia? Where am I I was close! I did say grass type. She has an, uh, an interesting idea of what beauty is, that's for sure. Yeah, true. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder, so. Meh. You meh. Meh. Well, there was a video from Dorkly where, um, it's one of their, uh, Pokedex entries and saying, like, I was talking about Phoebus and Melodic, and it's like, Phoebus is one of the most ugliest Pokemon that scientists dare not research it. And then it goes to a guy like, I'm going to take the most ugly Pokemon and do a research on it. And all of a sudden, a Phoebus pops up, and then he's like, okay, this is going to be weird. And then uh, <laughs> and then the next thing, you know, they talk about Milotic being the most beautiful Pokemon in the world. So then, all of a sudden, the scientists are having, like, this um, reunion kind of thing with, like, all these Pokemon that are apparently their wives or something. Oh my god. And this one guy pops in with the uh, Phoebus that evolved into my out my out my oh, tick. And they're like, where's your Phoebus? And it's like, you're looking at it. And they're like, oh my god, that is beautiful. <laughs> That's funny. Think about that. The most ugliest Pokemon in the world evolves into the most beautiful Pokemon in the world. Okay, so... Mistrevis stats aren't that bad. Scyther's total is 500. Mm -hmm. And Mistrevis total is 435. Okay. So. Actually, you know what I should do? I should go and compare it to Pikachu. Okay. Because Pikachu is an unevolved Pokemon from Gen 1. Right. And it did have a baby. Exactly. So you're going to compare it with that as well? Yep. 
Well, you Pikachu's got, got got all the all the stuff. Well then, start, and it's favored by Game Freak. So. Well then, start start it with start uh, comparing it with Pokemon like Clefairy and Jigglypuff. Hit mm, you know what? You're right. Clefairy would be better. Yeah. <laughs> if I didn't accidentally look into poison types. I would say Jinx, but no. I don't, I don't know if that's I don't know if that's a good one. It has to be a Pokemon that evolves, but it was like. Gen 1 or some crap like that. Um, I know what you have. I'm just trying to remember where I should... Actually... Okay, so Clefairy, no, which is an unevolved Pokemon, has a base stat of 323. Mm -hmm. But you said that Mysterious is a base total stat of 500 or something. No, Scyther's 500. Oh. Mysterious is 435. Which is... Oh. Fable is 483. Okay, so yeah. Mistrebus is on the lower end of fully evolved Pokemon's stats. Until it evolves in Miss, Miss Magius, I would imagine. I'm curious about Miss Magius now. I need to know what its stats are. Yep. Critical hit. Roselia is up. Another Roselia, of course. I'm actually afraid Ooh. that one of these Rosalias will have poison fire. That's a shame. What's up? Miss Magius' total stat base is only 495. It's five points less than Scyther. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's still got fully evolved Pokemon stats, but it's still technically not as strong as it could be. Also, so, so, so now I'm kind of curious. With Scyther's stats being as good as a fully evolved Pokemon, what about Scizor? What about Cleavor? I will check in a moment. I'll be right back. Sounds good. You gonna go into the corner? No. <laughs> I'll explain about that one when she comes back. All right. So there's still a few more trainers on this route. They're up to the left. And because I know what you guys usually have, I'm sending an Opony. These guys are notorious for having rock types and steel types. Although I just remember one of them has a bronze aura. I just got I probably screwed myself, but we'll see. No, you have the shield on! Alright! Actually, I should bring that up too after this battle. <laughs> Actually, I should bring that up when Parker gets back so I can bring that up to everyone. Oh, wait a minute. Do shield bones have sturdy? Yes, they do. I know this because that was four times a week. I did say rock and steel. Iron defense. Dude, you're at one HP. I don't think iron defense is going to help. Unless you're going to heal, which I doubt. Healing usually are involved with um, gym leaders, evil team leaders, and elite fours, champions, and whatnot. Basically, like your boss battles. When it comes to like regular old trainers, trainer battles, NPC type stuff. Oh, by the way, Parker thought your the pony that's learning fair spin now at level thirty-five. God damn it! <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was funny as hell. Uh, we'll battle him in just a sec. This guy. I didn't teach it fire spin. What? Who created us? I know you don't have sturdy. <laughs> Again, I hope that picked up on the camera what Parker just said these last couple of times. So funny. But hey, Kratos is up. Uh, I didn't see how many Pokemon you have. If you have another one, I'm guessing it's a Bronze Orb. We know these guys. You usually have... Oh, you have a Geodude. Oh, so far, so good. I know I could take this switch to uh, Print Club here, but... I'm pretty sure Lopini can take care of it. Ah, oh, yeah, there's another thing. It's probably got Surrey. Yeah, there it is. Did you say you did not teach it, Fire Spin? Yeah. Do you have any idea how valuable chip damage can be sometimes? I don't like Fire Spin. It's weak. 
It's right? chip damage! Combine that with a burn! <sighs> yeah, but first off, if I'm gonna give it a burn, I had to teach you something like Will-O- Will-O-Wisp. Which, I don't even know if it's in this game. You can just use Flame Wheel! Oh, that reminds me. Um, back in Eternal Forest, when we were battling those Abras, remember- I need to go back to the corner for a minute, you've disappointed me. No, 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 come back here, I need to tell you this. Oh. Also, there's the Bronzor. Oh. This is important! Unless you're getting a drink. I don't know why you had to go to the corner. You didn't do anything wrong. Meh. Anyway, I looked up the stats. Okay. I'll, get, I'll, get, to my, I'll get to my thing in a bit, I guess. There's a reason why Eviolite Scizor... Not Scizor, sorry. Eviolite uh, Scyther is better than Scizor and Cleavor. Why is that? Because uh, Cleavor and Scizor do not gain any stat boosts. Their Ooh. total stat base is still 500, even after Evolution. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I didn't mean to diss on Miss Magia so hard. Uh, at least they got an actual stat boost. <laughs> I guess so. But anyway, so uh, remember those Abras back in the Eternal Forest that we battled? Yeah. Remember they had, I believe they had Energy Ball. Remember that? Yeah. There's a reason why they don't have Hidden Power. It's not in this generation. Really? I forgot Hidden Power is not a move in this generation. Oh. In, in the entirety of Gen 8, Hidden... Actually, no, I don't know if that's the case because there's unknown in this game. I think it's just because there's no TM for Hidden Power. I can check. I think that's, I think that's the case. Hidden Power is not an HM or, or a TM or HM. So because of that, um, the Abras don't know, don't know Hidden Power. I'm pretty sure. The, probably the only way you're going to get this <coughs> hidden power now is because of unknown. But that's it. Also, I'm just going to bring this up to everybody. I did not know this guy had weasels. I was just throwing something out. <laughs> oh, wait, what am I doing? I did say, when I battled some water types, to throw out Sunny Day. I just been spacing out on that. Okay, I'm in the Gen 8 attack okay, Gen decks. 8. I found Hidden Power, mm -hmm. and in Gen 8, and this is Gen 8 as a whole, not just this game specifically, in Gen 8 as a whole, Unknown is the only per Pokemon that can learn Hidden Power, both by Should be level, level up. Should only be level up. If there's, because there's yeah, no, there's no TM for it at all. Yeah, exactly. So, and, and nothing can learn it by breeding either. So... I would imagine, because Unknown is And this is both for RCS and for BDSP, so... Yep. Anyway, there's That's the sunny day, there's the... Cherim! There's the Cherim. I did say Cherim when I battled... I did say when I battled the water type. It dances, it dances. Look at that happy face. I got punched in the face with water and it's still happy. I did say when I battled the uh, water type, I would do it, so... It just took me, a, took me a moment to realize, Oh wait, I'm battling water types. I should use it. <laughs> but yeah, there's there's the uh, transform Cherim. Not that everybody and it will never happen again. Yeah. No, because <laughs> I'll probably get rid of a sunny day somewhere. Also, I saw an item I must have forgot to grab, so I'm going to go back and grab it. You didn't forget. Oh, yeah, you did forget to grab it. Yeah. There's another one there, but I, I think that one was also. <coughs> so. Big, Big root. root. Uh, that's for. That you hold, I believe that's what you hold your Pokemon and for moves that does uh, HP sucking type stuff that gains more power. I believe so. Like Mega Drains and stuff like that. Mega Drain, Giga Drain, Absorb, Leech Life. Probably Drain Punch. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know one. if it gives power for moves like Ingrain. Because technically Ingrain you Ingrain would not. Ingrain would not. Well, you still get HP back from Ingrain. It's, you just don't attack the Pokemon I said, I said HP stealing. Oh. Yeah. I'll double check, though. Uh... I don't yeah, HP stealing moves. And I don't be held by a Pokemon. It boosts the amount of HP the holder stores from HP stealing moves. Yeah, so Ingrain would not. Ingrain is just basically a, uh, you can't uh, flee me out of battle while I heal move. Yeah, and you can't, and I don't think you can switch out either. That's the problem. I don't know. I've never, I've never really experimented much with Yeah, Ingrain, I don't think you so. can switch out of battle with Ingrain. Because yeah. you're literally ruining yourself in, in place. Yeah, and I've never really, um, experimented much with Ingrain, so I can't be yeah. the one to say so. Well, I only know a bit about Ingrain because I like Cradilly, so. I do too. Sorry for that. Also, um, just so Parker's aware, this is where he catched a referee. 
I can prove it. For a graph? Yeah, for a yeah. graph. It should be pretty common. Yep, there it is. For a There it is. You know what's shiny I've always wanted? Shiny giraffe ring? I have. There's just something about changing the pink bits to blue. Mm -hmm. It's a subtle change, but it's still like a really nice change that I like. I'm kind of curious if they're going to do the same approach for a furry giraffe. I hope not. I hope furry giraffe is a little more in-depth. Because mm. I like how subtle it is in giraffe rig, but for furry for giraffe, I really hope it's something a little bit more stunning because furry giraffe is quite a stunning looking Pokemon. Okay. Anyway, I think you should leave it off right here. Yeah, we're almost there anyway. Yep. I know I said we we're going to go to Best Jurist City in this episode, but I think we'll leave that in the next episode. So Yeah, this one's getting a little long. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Pokemon Shining Pro the series. I know I didn't take a thumbnail. I'll do that off screen though. Um, I've been Big Up Team. And I've been SF Parker. And, and like I said, we're going to go to um, Best Jurist City next episode. But we're also going to explore this place a little bit, just because. And as far as not the spray zone. I don't think there's anything we there's need. There's items in there. You I, might want to look that up in between episodes actually, and see what there is. Actually, there is one thing I would need to get in there. I believe it's only in the Diamond and Pearl version, which is this one as well. Yeah. I believe I will need to get that. Mm -hmm. But other than that, nothing else. Fair enough. I don't. I, even if there's the, even if the other items, <laughs> I don't think I would go around. And, and look uh, those. what's your favorite gym leader? I'm not saying. Nice try. Said I would continue nagging. I know. Nice try. Meh. <laughs> but anyway, you got any final words? That was my final words. <laughs> Alright, right, whatever. Anyway, thank you all so much for watch, watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe. See you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.